Hello everyone, so today we're going to be taking a look at this 2007 Subaru Impreza WRX. A special thanks to FDR Car Sales, situated just outside Donegal Town, for allowing me to come down here today and film this car for you guys today. For all contact information regarding FDR, please see the description box below. So in today's review, we'll be taking a look at the interior of the car. I'll explain all the features work. Let's just start up, look at the engine, go over the performance data, take a look around the exterior. I'm also going to take the car on the detailed test drive. So this one has been fitted with an immobilizer, which means you have to lock the car twice to start the engine. Now I tried this earlier and I accidentally set off the alarm, but hopefully it works this time round. So like most impressions from this generation, it has frameless windows. And this one has the perforated black leather interior. And also down the floor you got your boot and fuel filter cap release. And your fog light controls will head off to the right. As well as your one touch automatic driver's side window. And this car has 75,547 miles in the clock so far. And this car has a leather wrapped three spoke steering wheel. Nice firm response from the hydraulic power assist. And it's also perforated off to the left and right sides. And you may have already noticed when I was getting into the car, these two extra gauges. So the top one is for the turbo and the other one is for the oil pressure. And if I actually just turn on the lights, they illuminate green. And with the lights off, they actually give off a bit of a purple glow. And if I actually just rev the car. So as far as the interior and the Impreza goes, well, it's very basic Subaru from this era. It's very simple and it has just all the features you need. So you got a double in radio with a CD player and a cassette player, automatic air conditioning as well as a cigarette lighter and ashtray. And this car also has the 5-speed manual transmission all the way over to the right and down to engage reverse. It's also a decent weight to the clutch as well. Heavier than the clutches I'm used to using in more modern day cars. And also you got your two integrated cup holders, a center armrest with a bit of storage as well. And these sport seats are very comfortable. As I said, they're also perforated and they're heated as well just by using the controls in the center console. And this car also has a sunroof, as you can see. You've got the control for the roof located just here, sorry, beside the lights. And also I noticed that the uh, cover for sunroofs in older cars tends to be very stiff when you're sliding it over and back. But in the case of this Impreza, it moves just fine. Doesn't get stuck halfway. So let's go ahead and check out the back seats. So with the driver's seat in my driving position, I have a little bit of leg room, it's not too bad. And the headroom is decent enough as well. Now these Super Impressors were not really known for being the most spacious four-door saloons out there, but you can indeed fit uh, two people back here no problem at all. I think anybody looking for the center seat is definitely going to feel very cramped. And speaking of the center, you do have this leather center mounted armrest. And I should actually just mention that the leather seats in this car have worn very well, there's no creases or cracks or anything in the leather whatsoever as you can see it's definitely been very well looked after so let's power on the headlights as well as the front and rear fog lamps and the hazards as I said earlier, the driver's side window in this car is fully automatic. I'm going to go ahead and check out the exterior. So this car is finished in the signature WR Blue Pearl, which is easily one of the nicest colors you can have a Super Impreza in. 
Now this particular car is a second generation. The Impreza itself has been around since 1993. The second generation was produced from 2000 up until 2007. Now upon its initial release this car had round headlights in which case it was nicknamed the Bug Eye. Now apparently a lot of people didn't particularly like this design. So Subaru were very quick to respond. In 2001 they brought out an updated version and it had different headlights and it was nicknamed the Blob Eye. And then in 2006 it was updated to what we have here. Now this here is a very nice looking front fascia and personally it's one of my favourite Subaru Impreza's. This particular car is nicknamed the Hawkeye and it is very striking looking from the front. It certainly has a lot of road presence. Now as you can see the headlight designs themselves look really nice. And of course this car has the signature Subaru Impreza bonnet scoop which feeds air directly into the top mounted intercooler. Coming around to the side and you can really appreciate the styling of this car. As you can see it has slightly flared front wheel arches. This car also comes with these standard 17 inch 7 spoke alloy wheels on the WRX with red brake calibers. Although a lot of people do tend to swap them out for the gold wheels mainly because they look nicest against this blue paint. It also has 4 wheel ventilated steel disc brakes as well as a 4 wheel independent suspension, McPherson strut front to rear. It also has front and rear stabilizer bars. And coming around to the rear you can see this car has been fitted with the STI rear spoiler with the third brake light. And even though it's a very large spoiler it doesn't obscure your rear visibility too much because there's quite a good gap between the top and bottom. So when you're looking at the rear window you can see where you're going just fine. So let's check out the boot. So it's pretty good in size, measures in at 401 litres. And you can fit most everyday items in here. Quite average size for a four door saloon. Release is located just down here. The engine is a turbocharged 2.5 litre flat 4 boxer. It produces 226 brake horsepower with a top speed of 143 miles per hour. It also does 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds. It also puts out 236 foot pounds of torque and its estimated fuel consumption is about 27 miles to the gallon. Okay, so setting off in the WRX, and I am excited. Oh, <laughs> my god, this thing is fast. <laughs> I've never driven a Super Impreza in my entire life. This is something I've been wanting to do since I started my YouTube channel back in 2011. And my god, I am not disappointed. I mean, I'm only on the road a few seconds, and this thing has got some serious pull from it. So this 2.5 litre engine, as I said, it produces about 225, 24 horsepower or thereabouts. So it's got about 50 less than the equivalent STI. So to go over some of the mechanical features in this car, it's got an open differential in the front and then it has what's called a viscous limited slip differential, one in the centre and one at the rear. So it's got two limited slip diffs. And this thing is just a four door road going rally car. I mean, these things are tremendously fun to drive. 
wow, I'm at this kind of spaces at the moment. I never thought I would get to drive a WRX. <laughs> it's just amazing. Now, obviously, this is not like any other modern day car. There's a little bit of noise from the outside getting in, but to be honest with you, if I just drop her down the gear, it's all good noise that's coming in. <laughs> Now this particular WRX is quiet compared to most you see in a row because most cars have upgraded exhaust systems and upgraded turbos so there's a lot more noise uh, getting inside. So this is one of the quieter models but I have to say out here in these roads it's lovely to drive on the main roads, it's quiet, it's comfortable. These seats are very nice to drive, it actually just feels like any other four door family saloon where you're just taking it easy. And as I said earlier about that rear spoiler, it doesn't obstruct my visibility, I can see out the back no problem at all. But at the moment, I am absolutely loving the WRX. This thing is awesome. I would love to own one of these cars. I mean, maybe someday I will. But at the moment, I'm just really going to try and enjoy driving this car. Okay, so we're just turning around. We're going to set off in just a moment. When these next three vehicles go by. Three, two, one, and go. My God, this thing is intoxicating. You can never get bored of driving one of these Impressas. They're just so much fun, it's incredible. I, mean, I actually never thought when I started filming cars six years ago I would ever get the chance to even sit in one of these, let alone drive it. Now, I know a lot of other YouTubers out there that review cars have driven Impressas, Evo, Skylines, and supercars, and cars that are much better, much faster than this, but this is kind of like something that was on my bucket list to do, to drive an Impreza Turbo. And uh, I've got a really nice day. I mean, when I woke up this morning, it was wet, it was windy. I thought, oh, no, it's going to be a crap day for reviewing this car. But it's brightened up a bit now and everything just seems to go my way. As a matter of fact, I know this external microphone for my GoPro probably doesn't pick up a lot of engine noise, so just drop the window a wee bit and drop it down the gear. See if you can pick up any noise. Maybe not. <laughs> probably a bit too windy to pick up any of the engine noise. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, this is, a, this is a very advanced car actually. I mean, I know it seems very simplistic inside, but as I was talking about with the differential, this thing is uh, very well set up and very well prepared. Uh, this car doesn't actually have traction control, but it does have Subaru's uh, symmetrical all-wheel drive system. Now, this is a fantastic system. It's uh, probably one of the best out there. So the way it works is very simple. In the WRX, this car has permanent four-wheel drive. So the power is split 50-50. 50% goes to the front wheels, 50% to the rear wheels. Now, on the STI models, you can get something called a DCCD controller, which is somewhere here in the center console, and then you can adjust yourself how much power you want sent to the wheel, so you can split it as much as you want, and you can even lock the discs. But in this car, I know that I can take corners you know, at high speeds, and the four-wheel drive system will help pull me back in line. It's a very confidence-inspiring car. That's one thing I'll say about the WRX. It's easy to drive this thing fast. But yeah, you know what? I know I'm not in any back roads at the moment, and to be honest with you, the fuel is very low in this car. I just wanted to take it for a quick spin up and down the main road, and I'm grateful um, that the people from FDR even let me do that. Okay, so we're just on our way back to FDR now. And once again, a huge thanks to them for allowing me to take out the WRX and get this review done today. Funny thing is, actually, the first car I ever filmed at FDR Car Sales was a blah by Impreza WRX, so now I'm back filming another one. But um, yeah, all information, of course, regarding FDR Car Sales will be listed in the description box below. But at the moment, I have to say, I've really enjoyed my day, and uh, I've enjoyed re reviewing this car, I've enjoyed driving it. Just a nice rumble at low speeds. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of wandering at this point. But anyway, I'm just going to finish up the review now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully we'll have more cars like this coming in the future. So guys, see you again next time.